Yes, guys, PTTP is here at a police headquarters. This one is Hertfordshire. And uh, I did a quick Google Maps of it before I came. And from what I can tell, it's a very open site. So lots of public access, lots of pedestrian access. And it looks like really nice grounds, actually. So hopefully not too much drama happens here. Don't mind a chat if somebody wants to chat, but hopefully it's uh, nothing too aggressive. This is in a Welling Garden City. And we're going to go check it out. This is quite a busy road, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to cross here or not. I might have to go up to the traffic lights and uh, walk back down. So I shall catch up with you shortly. I don't know why, guys, but my video keeps just like randomly cutting out. I had a massive clear out of my phone, so it shouldn't be a storage issue. I did try and do some videos uh, uh, with speech, but yeah, the storage kept cutting out, so I literally had to sit and have a massive clear out of apps and footage that's already been uploaded, etc. So I'll just have to keep an eye on um, whether or not it's actually still recording. We will see. Yeah, so far so good. I've had lots of vehicles and people coming in and out and no no qualms as such yet. This might be a bit of a, a quick one. Well, that's a fleet support unit, that one. Yeah, it's not actually like a, a marked unit as such. Support unit. Yeah, so I think they have actually. They've actually called for a marked unit at a police headquarters. How strange. This is where I need to keep an eye on the recording. Brilliant, thank you, appreciate that. How are you? You alright? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, just asking. Not too. Exactly what it looks like, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, okay, no yeah. problem at all. Uh, um, are you happy to provide me your details or something? Nothing? No, that's no, right, that's no. not a problem. Um, you're absolutely fine, you're in a public place, yep. you can film. Yeah, so, actually, I know, it's, this, this fencing must be very new, well, relatively new. To be fair, I don't actually know, it's been here as long as I've been here. Have you? Yeah. About three years, so... Ah, uh, see, so I looked it up on Google Maps before I came, and one of the reasons I was, I was out anyway, and one of the reasons I decided to stop it was because on Google Maps there was no fencing, um, so I was like, oh brilliant, I can go up and have a look at the marked vehicles and everything, and then I'll get here, and I was like, oh, okay, it's all fenced off, so... Hey, look, 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 I doubt it. I mean, they, 
they obviously don't like me being here, hence why they've called you. But, um, <laughs> it's, it's more protocol, that's what they do. But it, I mean, it's strange, is there, are there no constables like, on duty here? Um, so this isn't an operational place. So we have like the control room um, and like major crime and things like that. Like, yeah, yeah. The expertise units and stuff like that. Sure, like, sure. Like, but I mean, like other headquarters now that I've been to, though, like a yeah, sergeant so could come out, an inspector could come out. Do, you know, do, yeah. I, I just think it's ridiculous when you've got all these constables because they still hold the officer constable, whether they're a PC or an yeah. inspector. Yeah. So they're all, you know. So just I just find it so bizarre that all these constables that are probably on site at the moment. And they just kind of decide to waste their own time, and, you know, yours and their own time, by getting a marked vehicle, which from another police station to well, come out to here. To be fair, I'm, I'm based out in Hatfield, so we cover this area anyway. So I do. Hatfield, Welling Garden City, uh, okay. those sort of areas. Uh, um, so I'm more than happy to pop out yeah. to an issue at all. It's my job. No worries. Um, but yeah, the one thing I do ask um, is unmarked vehicles if we could just refrain from um, videoing them if possible well, it's more so that it's not it's not so much it might be personal cars yeah. police officers but victims and stuff like that when victims do come what come here and, in the visitors car park over there and things like that yeah, yeah, but yeah. sometimes they, they go well there, right? so, yeah, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying I do understand what you're saying with the victims thing yeah but getting their car coming in and out, I don't know that they're a victim. Nobody watching this video is going to know that they're a victim, whether it's an unmarked police unit, whether it's a staff car. Yeah, I'd, I'd you know what I mean? Polite, yeah. It was, it was um, more of a polite request. I know, I understand that, <laughs> but, you know, and uh, to be honest, I don't tend to post stuff that's not, not that interesting anyway. Okay. Um, so the only vehicle that might go up is his, just because he pulled out, parked over there, and obviously hovered around and called you, so that might just make the footage. Oh, right. But other than that, um, but again, it's nothing you can get from a number plate or anything, is there? Okay. Um, just right. a collar number for me. And yeah, PC 157. 157. My name's Orchard and I work out of Hatfield Police Perfect. Station. Perfect. So, yeah. right. No, you've been perfect, so okay. thank you very much. Lovely. Take All care, right. won't you? Enjoy yeah. the sun. Cheers, will do. You too. So there we go, guys. We cannot grumble at that one at all. That was a very positive interaction. Straight away let me know that he's recording, so he obviously knows what the score is and what what I'm doing here. Um, he did say that he has to let everybody know that. So, brilliant. Now, uh, chap over there, sort of wiping and holding his face, thinking, "Oh, there's nothing we can do." Which he doesn't like. So yeah, he's based out of Hatfield. It didn't take him too long to get here. So. Gotta get him driving off down there. And uh, <laughs> looks like he's gonna hang around until I go. Yeah, I'm all good, thanks. Oh dear, now they're going to decide not to go in, they're going to stop. Hopefully not obstruct the road. Still recording, yeah, good. Ah, oh, so they're just going to go around to another gate instead of use this one. <laughs> uh, that's good, I thought they were going to stop and engage, which they're not, so...
we'll just hang around a little bit longer just to um, make sure that they're not going to come and do anything silly. So we've got another police fleet support unit. Which is interesting. So from the people that I have seen going in and out, like, it looks like they swipe in and out, so I don't know why that other car was so concerned. So I think uh, the car that went in the other gate is now that one that's parking all the way up there. So they literally went in the other gate and went all the way around. Just to avoid going through that gate. get out and don't come over I think I'm just gonna to go to that fence line that I talked about and see if I can get some of those marked units Yep, doesn't look like they're coming over this way, so happy days. Hey, we do get some marked vehicles coming in and out. Lovely. Okay, nice little wave and a thumbs up. That's what we like to see. and wait for the gate to close perfect and, uh, oh, we've got a mark unit that's pulled up in the visitors car park down there which is interesting So uh, that constable's got lots of uh, paperwork and files and that in her arm, so I'm guessing she's here for admin stuff. I'm guessing she uh, doesn't have access to this site. She's going in through the main reception. So uh, yeah, at least we've got the uh, Mark Bill coming in and out. Well, coming in. I 
So a much friendlier bunch here than uh, in Stevenage, I must say. Obviously, I'm sure you all remember Stevenage with the PCSO and the two female constables in the lobby. So then guys, I'm going to wrap that one up there. I don't think I'm going to bother going around and uh, getting those units from the other side now. I've got my marked vehicle that I wanted. And uh, Yeah, for anybody else that's thinking about coming here, just remember Google Maps is lying to you and you can't access what you think you can. Guys, as always, like, share, and subscribe. And until the next one, we're going to see what else is around this area while I'm out anyway, and it's still early enough. Until then, it's alright.